here's one of my home cooked meals for my Yorkie Poo. He's a puppy. Um, what this weird looking stuff is, is basically broth and fat from lamb and chicken. We had lamb leg, and so the fat I just took off and um, put to the side and broth. And in down in here are red beans. And this green stuff floating around is parsley flakes. And you can use different seasoning. Um, just make sure that it's safe for your dog. I'd stick to parsley, um, rosemary, what else? I think those are the main two that I stick to. I also look to see what they put in the um, dog food, and I figure whatever they put in the dog food must be safe for the dog. So this is kind of my beginning. These are really, these are dry beans, so I had to soak them. And I cooked them in the fat. And the fat is fine for the puppy. He's only about six months old. I also add some frozen beans. So if you have things in the freezer that you had in there for a while, you know you're not gonna use it. Add that to it too. So he's getting some string beans and I'll also be adding an additional protein flounder. I have several packs of flounder. Several. Oops. Packs of flounder. And I also put flax seed in there. I'll probably put about half of this in there. It helps him with his coat and with um, his bowels. So I don't need to add any extra oils because of the oil from the um, lamb and the chicken. It's gonna be plenty for him. So basically I cook this down and when it's cooked down, like so the beans are really soft, I add the flounder because that takes like a second to cook as well as the string beans because I don't want it to cook too much. And then I puree it or I won't say puree it, but I blend it in my Vitamix. And then we just give them about two scoops. Two scoops is usually about three tablespoons. It depends because we feed them two to three times a day. So it depends on how, how long. I know puppies, they say you should feed three times a day. It varies, honestly. But just a simple way if you're making a, your own home meal for your dog. I started making this for him because of the puppy food that we got for him before. He didn't like it. He wouldn't eat it. He would kind of sniff on it and everything. So um, I just said, all right, I'm going to try giving him better food. So once I started making his food, he ate it all, all the time in seconds. And there's times we use the food as a training method. You know, we kind of put a little bit in our hand and say go sit or lay down or stay or whatever. Um, are some different things we do. And what else? Oh, so if I, because he's out of food, he was out of food yesterday. No, this morning. I'll give him sardines if I'm like, oh no, I didn't make his meal. And you know, so sometimes I'll give him sardines and they're in olive oil, so that's a good fat for him as well. Um, what are some other things I may give him? I just don't put salt in it. I try to avoid <coughs> salty stuff. Um, although like, I'm sure the broth has plenty of seasoning, so I can't say it's not seasoned, but I don't add any seasoning. And I don't always use this broth, it really varies. What else? And that's really it. He hasn't had any issues. I've been giving him his homemade meals for about, we got him when he was eight weeks. And I tried making his own meals maybe after 10 weeks or so. I bought some store bar stuff and I was like, it was like $11 for like a bag this size. And I was like, man. I think I can make my own. <coughs> Excuse me, I feel not feeling very well today. Um, and that's it. So if you are hesitant and you're thinking about making your dog's food, make your dog's food. Um, really look at the ingredients. 
if you don't want to go to the store, go online and see what ingredients are in those foods for your dog particular. And <coughs> sorry, you can go on from there. My mom started cooking uh, food for her dog, and he is a he's a small, he's like a terrier kind of mix, and he's probably about I don't know ten pounds or so. And she said she started making his food, and he does way better. So it doesn't have to be a puppy. You don't have to be like, oh, he's been having his food. I can't switch over. You can switch it over. I would suggest um, to just look at the food that you've been buying and see what's in there. And then do your own variations from there. And if you don't want to make, because I make a huge batch. And this usually lasts about a month or so. You can start small. You don't have to make this huge batch that I'm making. Um, but you can start small and see how your dog does. Um, you know, any kind of constipation or diarrhea or gagging or whatever. I mean, you know, just watch your dog to make sure everything's fine. But thus far, I haven't had any issues. And I think there was a time where I used um, lentils and um, ground beef. I don't want to do the raw. I know it's probably pretty good, but he's a small dog. He probably weighs about six pounds. And um, I just don't think the raw is necessary. It may be helpful, but I'm just not, that's not what I'm going to be doing. So, I hope this Tweakable Life Creations has helped you tweak life and create something for your dog. And um, have any questions or comments, veterinarians, whomever, I'm open to um, any kind of suggestions or questions. I'm new at this, so just thought I'd share. Have a good day.